Hello everyone, welcome back to Cold Fear. Alright. Let's get back on the ship. Alright, this time let's not get blown up by the barrel. I'm gonna help this guy out a little bit. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Fine, I guess we're done helping you. Right. So I try to help him and he immediately shoots me instead of the zombie monsters that are going right for him. Yeah, might want to get your priorities straight there, friend. Okay, um, what the, what the? Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell? What just even happened? Oh. I guess the storm's getting worse and causing the boat to really tip. Anyway, I was gonna say, what the hell am I even doing? Find the radio room. Uh, okay. I honestly have no idea where that would be. No idea. I've already been in here, right? I, I think I was just in here. I was, but you weren't here before. Wait, there's, there's actually new stuff here now? That was not there before. Oops. <laughs> I pressed tab. I meant to press the melee key. What, the, what do you... No, don't use melee. Don't pick the freaking body. Where the hell did that thing even come from? Did it drop down from the ceiling? I haven't got the right weapon for this ammo. No, but you can carry it anyway. But of course you won't. Because you're stupid. Right, well now my ammo actually matters. Whereas before it didn't matter if I conserved it. Now it does. Why is the game all choppy? What in the hell is happening to my frames? It is insanely choppy. Game? Can you... Can, what, what the hell? It's like rebounding between 30 and... I, like 30 and 20 FPS or something? I don't even know what's happening. But I shall continue to per persevere. Which is the same thing as persevere. Continue, persevere. Means the same thing. Oh my god, run, don't get spiked. Storeroom. Uh, sure. Awkward silence. Ooh. Kalishnikov, I heard someone out there. I just heard someone. I think. It sounds like someone's reloading a weapon. Right. I'm going to leave you there and see if you come back to life. As fun as it is to shoot dead bodies in the head and watch their brains explode like rotten melons, it's not exactly the best thing to do in the interest of ammo conservation. So if you're not actually going to get up and attack me, there's really no reason to do it. Did it seriously just attack a couple times after blowing its head up? I'll have to keep that in mind. Ew. Ew. That was really disgusting. Kept splurting blood. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Alright, let's test this thing. Test this thing out. 
A note about fire, <laughs> about fire extinguishers. I might have just blown one up. I'm hoping the note doesn't say, warning, don't blow up fire extinguishers. General order number six. All soldiers are to be, all soldiers are to be extremely cautious of exchanging gunfire in rooms containing fire extinguishers. These devices contain highly compressed gas, which can cause explosions. You'll be held responsible for any damage you cause to the ship or to your comrades. Uh, again, I have to wonder. Are they expecting gunfire to just be... exchanged? <laughs> in, like, every single room of the entire ship at all times? It, it seems like they've expected it. Why would they? Why would they think people would just be shooting up a room and they might hit a fire extinguisher? Were they expecting to be boarded by Nazi pirates every day or something? Is that a thing? This gun doesn't have a light, does it? It doesn't. Ugh. I'm gonna stick with the pistol then. Awkward silence. Okay, well, I've been here before. And I know over here some water. Okay, so I found the code, right? Yeah, the radio room must be near the crew quarters. Okay, so I've got the code. I think I, need, I, think I know where to go. I think I go over here, next to the flaming cargo that's swinging on a rope. I've got to find that code. Okay, apparently that code is not that code. I've got to find that code. What code is that code then? What code do I have? Near the crew quarters. I don't know where the crew quarters are. There's no map. Right, I've been there. That's just gonna take me around. So... I have no idea. I guess I go back here. Could have found that one a little bit better. Whoops. Alright, back into the wherever I am. Oh god, hi. Come back here. Did you really think I didn't see you? Come on. Well, I was thinking ammo might be a problem with this AK, but I already have 76 shots, so I guess not. It looks like this will do the job. Hand wheel for the fish hold door. Okay, I know where that is, roughly. It looks like the best response when they get near you is definitely to melee, and then shoot them. Otherwise, you kind of waste your ammo. Alright, I need to go down to use that wheel. Uh, where was that? It was next to the med bay, I think, or the armory. Wait a minute, what about this? You nope. Oh, if you're gonna kill me, then in that case, I'll just never let you out. Enjoy! Oh, here we go.
This, this water looks so bad. Look at the quality of this water. It's just pure green with random splashes. As if people are just dropping stones in random locations on it. Ah, water in old games. It's unlocked. Sure. Awkward silence. Oh, whoa. I just heard what sounded like a creepy critter. Are there creepy critters in here? Alright, if there's any creepy critters in here, please come out now and forever be not creepy. I don't like creepy things. But you're only creepy if you hide. If you come out into the light, I promise I will kill you quickly. If you don't, well, I'm probably going to kill you quickly anyway. <laughs> a note about the red fuel valves. What a very specific note. To Major Anaschenko, or however you pronounce that, from blah blah blah. Major, it has come to our attention that some of our men, some of your men, have been playing at shooting the red valves off of the fuel pipes. <laughs> Not only does this lead to lengthy, dangerous, and costly repairs, it also causes a jet of burning gas to burst from the broken valve. Two technicians have already been badly injured as a result. Please order your men to cease this immediately. This ship is filled with the most dumb people on the entire planet. People that will charge you through flames and burn to death. In doing so, accomplishing nothing. People that shoot the only person that is actually there to help them instead of shooting the zombies. The zombie monster things. People that apparently just shoot up every room without any care for what's happening or for any particular reason. They just like to shoot and blow up fire extinguishers and explosive barrels. People that like to shoot red valves for fun. <sighs> These people. These people. Kenatobner. The damn thing's stuck. Damn it. Oh, I know the solution. Mr. Hansen? Hansen? What the hell? I don't even know what your name is. I'm going to call you John. John? I know exactly what your solution is. It's the same solution you've had for everything. Brute force and stupidity. It didn't work. Alright, so apparently I could shoot those overly bright red valves to cause jets of burning stuff to come out. What is that? Oh. A health pack. Radio room key. Son of a bitch. Uh, apparently the whale is still alive. What? Right, I'm gonna run now. Goodbye. Um, Al. You? What the? F I'm going upstairs. Holy crap! Those things are actually really creepy. They have really long legs. 
Those things are actually genuinely creepy, I'm surprised. Any more? Are you dead, whale? Okay, I guess it's actually dead. Zombie whale. Those teeth look pretty painful. Wouldn't want to get my hand stuck in there. I suppose I could have just shot this thing. Yeah, that would have healed him. Wait, so what did I actually find? Uh, apparently my objective is... Now to the radio room via the crew quarters. Okay. Radio room key. Wait, the ra wait, the radio code is not what I need to get into the radio room? I need the key and then I need the radio... I'm confused. Anyway, I think I'm good to go, though. Oh, it's stuck. Lovely. So that was my only purpose in coming down here, wasn't it? The damn thing's stuck. Just to get that key, so I still don't know where I, where I really need to take it. Hmm. Hold on, let me see if I can reactivate this thing. Oh, you can, okay. Is this it? Nope. Wow. Amazing aim. It's a little bit difficult because of the fact that the ship moves around. It constantly sways back and forth. And your aiming does not sway with it. So it actually just slightly moves around constantly. Makes it a little bit harder. Plus the sensitivity is much too low for what I'd like actually. And I'd like to change it, but I can't change it without quitting the game. So, I'll just leave it for now. Right. Via the crew quarters. I still don't know where those are. Let's go this way, though. I think there's a med bay in here. Oh, I mean, oh my god, there's a zombie! I think I was supposed to be scared by that. Anyway, let's go get healed. I better watch how much I'm using. I ain't got an unlimited supply. Okay, could you tell me how much you have in supply? I guess not. Okay. Clear. Whoa. Things are annoying to deal with. Okay, here we go. I'm in the right spot. Crew quarters. Cool. Awkward silence. Wait, haven't I been here before? Yeah, I think I have. Or someplace that looked just like it. 
Yeah, I've been here. Oh yeah, the bouncing lights, that's right. Look at them bounce. Showers. Have I been there? No. What the hell is that? <laughs> what? What the hell's what? The dead body? It's a dead body. You've seen about a hundred of them at this point. John, or whatever your name is. Nice one. You know, we could have been friends. Now that's not possible. Because you're dead. Ooh, I found some pistol ammo inside of his stomach. I just reached in there and just made kind of wet, squishy noises. Just, But I found it. He tried to hide it, but I found it. No, I want to open the door. Oh, I can't. Okay. Apparently they're occupied. Wouldn't want to barge in. Captain's quarters. Is it unlocked? Locked. No, of course. The control scheme in this game is just so strange. So, if you're in this third person view, you press forward, you go forward, you press back, you go back, and so on. You know, pretty pretty self-explanatory, pretty obvious. However, if you go out of the first person, or the over-the-shoulder view, suddenly everything changes. So, for example here, I'm going forwards. I go out, now forwards, if I release and then press it again, takes me back, because it's relative to the camera. In this view, in this view, the character movement is just the character's movement. It's relative to the character. Forwards goes forwards on the character. Here, forwards goes forwards on your view. It's... It's a mess. It's an absolute mess. It means if you want to be able to consistently go in one direction, you pretty much have to stay in one view. And since this view doesn't allow you to shoot very well, you could do this... Yeah, if you have it like this, you can actually shoot, but that only shoots at one level, so you're not exactly going to be headshotting anybody. Well, actually, that's probably a head level. But still, it's not exactly as fine control as this. So I pretty much have to stay in this view if I want good controls. But unfortunately, in that view, I can't sprint. So, that blows. Oh yeah, I know this place. That's where the person killed himself. By running through the fire. That was smart. Good job. Good job. The radio room must be up these stairs. Okay. It's unlocked. I heard another one. Yeah, I gotta practice on my aim, definitely. What are you doing in there? Calm down, calm down. Don't be stressing. Come on, you're in the Pahap room. Nobody can be angry in the Pahap room. This looks like the radio. Bravo, Seven Niner, can you hear me? Who am I speaking to? Where's Lansing? Lansing's dead. This is Hanson. Everyone else is down. Bloody hell. Then I guess we're stuck with each other, Hanson, but you're not the only survivor. 
There's still a very dangerous man loose on that ship. Colonel Dmitry Yusupov. He needs to answer a few questions. Round him up, and then we'll get you out of there. Who's we? I'm CIA Special Agent Bennett, Mr. Hansen. Patch this frequency through your headset. You might need my help. Bennett, out. Great. Just great. All right, find Yusup or whatever his name is. In the rear deck shed. All right. I don't know what this thing is, but it's so pretty. Look at the glow. I can't, I can't look away. I can't look away. What's happening to me? No, I have to, I have to, I have to look away. So where's this guy I'm looking for? Rear deck house. We got a fast satellite look through the cloud cover and pinpointed it. Must be nice. I'm on my way. I swear I got hit, but it doesn't actually look like I'm hurt. Ooh, someone's mail. Gonna eavesdrop on some private correspondences. Cor correspondi. A letter about the Spears. Britney Spears? Oh no, they mean the weapon. As per your request, here is a manual on how the spear gun weapon works. Experimental, mm hmm. Bridges of emergencies. Complex and costly, they must be used for their intended purpose, not as ammunition against the creatures. What? They. Not as ammunition against the creatures. So they've been dealing with this outbreak for... forever? I guess it's just a daily occurrence to be killing these creatures, like, oh, there's another one. Oh, don't get the spear gun. Use your pistol. And don't forget to shoot the red valves. And the conveniently placed explosive barrels. The spears give off... give... the, 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 the spears give off an... enzymatic... gas? which attracts the contaminated organisms. What? When released by impact, the exocell is fooled into thinking there's a large source of protein nearby. Okay. All right, so it's a distraction. All right, gotcha. Against, I'm, I'm guessing the exocell things are those creepy things with huge, long legs. It must be. And we're back here. Great, it's locked. Damn it. I'm gonna drive this ship right into the sea. Oh, wait. Okay, the rear deck shed. I don't know where that is. Where, where the hell's the rear deck shed? Well, I'm obviously near the front, so I guess I need to go back. Oh, hi. I can't even fucking see, just die. Okay, you're dead. I don't remember where this goes. Let's find out. Hmm. Wait, have I been up here? I don't know if I have. Plus, there's tons of ammo around here. Look at that. What careless person left you here? Come here, my beauties. I have 124 shots now, Jesus.
Yeah, I've definitely not been up here before. There's really no reason to take you. Look at this view. Looks like the end of the world. I pretty much can't see anything. Hmm, well, I guess my consolation if you could say that, from this entire mess, is that after everything said and done, at least I'll have very strong legs from going up and down ladders all day. This looks like the wrong way. <laughs> no shit! The stairs are out. Brilliant observation. What's around here? Nothing. Thank you for the ammo, comrade. Captain's quarters. Oh, this has got to be locked too, right? Great. It's yeah. locked. I'd be pretty careless of the captain to leave one door locked and the other not. Okay. Neat bit of exploring, but I don't think there's anything I actually need here. Wait, where's the door? That's not a door. That's a panel. How did I get out here? Where did I come from? Was it over here? Okay, there it is. It's already looking like a bit of a labyrinthian ship. It doesn't help that I don't know Russian. Uh, I have no idea where this goes. Outside, I I hope. Whoa. I guess I'm in the right area. Yep, I sure am. Just wanted to make it a little bit more fun, you know? Oh no, oh no, don't shoot my feet. Oh, it got back up, didn't it? It did, it did. What are you doing? Don't do that. Bad, bad, don't do that. Okay, I want to know if this can actually hurt me. Yes, I can. Okay, fair enough. It is a gigantic hook swaying in the in the sea. Wait, this isn't the right way. No.
I'm confused. Nope. I don't know how to get out of here. I just came from up here, so this is not going to help. I'm obviously supposed to come down here because there's a cutscene. So... I just, I just went to all these places and there was nowhere to, I'm, I don't fucking know what's happening. I'll go here again, why not? It's just a storage room. Oh my god, camera. Is that a hatch? No. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Okay, here we go. Oh, hi. Oh, bye. Ow. At least he killed the zombie thing, right? Ow. Nope, it didn't. Is that a zombie thing with a gun? I believe it is. That's not good. Ooh, one shot, one kill. Oh my god, it's so hard to aim with all this movement. Come on. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> I one shot at the guy up there. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Alright, where am I going? Yusupov in the rear deck shed, wherever that is. Fuck off, please. D don't kick me in the fucking face. Screw you. Oh my god. Fucking die. Everything fucking die. Are you dead? Okay. I don't even know what the hell just happened. I don't even know. health back. That feels good. Damn. Is this the rear deck shed? What, what did that say? Rear deck house. M maybe? Oh, it must be. Speak English. It doesn't matter now. What's going on here, Colonel? A terrible mistake. Find Anna. She has answers. Where is she? Locked up for protection. After that idiot, Captain Lubensky, hid in the cold storage. Now here, take this experimental. The bolts are chemically treated to distract them. It may save your life. <laughs> Convenient exposition delivered right before death, along with an experimental weapon, and talks about doom and gloom. And of course, right before dying, he makes sure to give me, he makes sure makes sure to give me the next location I need to go to to continue, ensuring that I'm on an everlasting train of quests. I'll take that, thank you. No, not that. That. Let's see what this spear gun can do. I imagine it shoots spears. Yusupov's journal.
Oh, it's the code for the rear deck starboard door. And code for the armored door, Anna. Okay. I'm not sure what the rear deck starboard door is, but I know what the Anna's door is. That's the one where she was yelling at me, telling me she's going to kill me. Which really makes me not want to let her out, but we'll see. Alright, I've got three shots, so let's save those for a rainy day. Oh wait, it's raining. Oh God, Bennett, you would not believe what I just saw. Easy there. I heard it all. You need to go find Captain Lubensky, pronto. But this girl, Anna, is probably just some Russian hooker Yusupov had on board. <laughs> what? Go find the captain before that tub you're on capsizes. Yusupov said you had answers. I'd like a few of those. Hansen, I'm trying to keep you alive here. And I'm gonna keep her alive. Hansen out. Okay, is there some sort of an obvious cover-up? I mean, I'm thinking two options here. Either that guy is a complete idiot, since Yusupov, or whatever the hell his name is, just told me to go speak to her, and he doesn't want me to. And only an idiot, I think, would believe that a captain would tell you to go speak with someone to get answers, and it would turn out to be a Russian hooker. How likely is that? Not very. So it's either that, or... He's involved in a cover-up and he doesn't want me to find answers because somehow, well, he's involved in it. That's my guess. I'm guessing there's a conspiracy. The guy that's trying to help me, it turns out, was against me the entire time. Dun dun dun. I'm calling it. Obvious twist. I'm calling it. I'll have to find the deer to the... I'll have to find the deer. I'll have to find the door to the rear deck. Well, I think I know where that is. It's back where I just came from, isn't it? Well, you know what, hold on. Let me see if any of these codes work for these doors up here. That I've been trying to get into for the longest time. I've got to find that code. It's unlocked. Uh oh, it worked. Oh my god! A thing just happened that I've already seen happen pretty much in multiple forms about a dozen times before. But it just happened in a cutscene, so it's ten times more scary. Alright. Banatubu Adanemananem. Also known as the propeller shaft room. Ooh, a medkit. Nah, I'm not really hurt. I'm good. I'll save it. What is this? Rear deck. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit cold. Oh. Mm. Okay, I'll have to be honest. I was expecting that to hurt me over time. And not just outright kill me. <clears throat> 
When was my last save? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Okay, let's yeah, skip that. And there's a thing. Oh my god. What the? Are you still alive? I thought you were dead. Let's see what this. Take that. What the? No. Spear gun can do. Oh wait a minute! Can I actually read the journal? Yeah, I was looking at the objects. I actually, I could read it. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't really care. Normally I do, but I don't care. I will read this highlighted part though. Makarev was the was the one who built the first prototype of the compressed air spear gun. Obviously, the effect on the creatures is limited. Only those within a radius of less than 20 meters from the spear are attracted, and the effect is temporary, but the results are promising. Mother of God, Bennett, you would not believe what I just saw. Easy there. I heard it all. You need to go find Captain Lubensky. Pronto. But this girl, Anna, is probably just some Russian hooker Yusupov had on board. Go find the captain before that tub you're on capsizes. Yusupov said she had answers. I'd like a few of those. Hansen, I'm trying to keep you alive here. And I'm gonna keep her alive. Oh my god, zombie! Oh yeah, the thing just came out, didn't it? Eh, whatever. Hang out up there, that's fine. Now let's actually grab this this time. You know, I'm feeling kinda cold. But not that cold. Are those the things you can just shoot? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, did that actually do something, though? Maybe that was keeping the store locked? Damn thing's locked from the other side. Nope. I shot it for no reason. Okay, well I can go down, but there's also a door over here, right? Rear deck. Rear deck. Rear deck. Is that where it just came from? What the hell? I don't even know what was happening to its limbs. Mm, but yes, that's where I just came from. This is the other door I was thinking of. Pump control room. Damn thing's locked from the other side. Propeller shaft. I have to find a magnetic card. Am I even supposed to be here? There must be an E key. <laughs> an E key? Really? Electronic key? In other words, a key card that opens the door between the engine room and the propeller shaft room. Well, that doesn't look good. I 
That should heat things up. Ew. Yes. Burn. That thing is actually dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, cool. I'm fully loaded with this ammo. Oh, apparently I can't hold any more than three spears. All right, let's see what one does. Let's see how long it lasts. Okay, decent amount of time. So, five to ten seconds, okay. Starboard cold rooms. Let's see what's over here first. Here's the electronic key. Oh, the E key. In other words, the key card. This looks like the wrong way. Are you sure about that? Feels like the right way to me. Ew. You. Maybe I shouldn't be in here. Did did you just move? You did. I think that was supposed to scare me. I do want to know what's in here. That looks like it can be broken. Nope. The damn thing's stuck. Wait, did this come from there or here? Oh, right, they both go to the same place. Anybody inside of these things? No. Alright, a bunch of medkits here, gotta keep that in mind. Not that I'll actually remember that. There's too much water pressure. I can't open the door. Gotta find a handle to stick back on this door. Ah, <sighs> another one missing a handle. Okay. Well, I'm done here then. Gotta head back to the engineer room to use the keycard. It's most likely... Um, um, most likely this one. I haven't tried that door yet. <laughs> I was gonna try it, but thank you for the hint. It's unlocked. And yes, I actually have tried that door yet. I just didn't try it with a key card. Ooh, shotgun. Ah, the good old shotgun. This voice acting is so cheesy. The good old shotgun. Oh, 
Oh god. So hard to kill those things. Now I like the epic choir music. Ooh, don't want to be stepping over that. Looks like I need to finagle some controls. I'm gonna finagle you. Come here. And let's do this. That didn't really help. Right, so I have a question. Why is this bridge retractable? Why not just have it always out? It just seems like an unnecessary safety risk. It's not as if they need this space here for something, right? Are they going to be lifting the shaft up? I mean, maybe. Seems a bit strange. Oh, hi. Is, is that what every single one of those is going to be? Someone's going to come out? Oh, yeah, you. Wow, I'm thinking somewhere between the 400th and 2 millionth time killing those little exocell things, I'm, it might get a little bit tedious. It looks like this will do the job. Cool. This door is locked by an electrical system. It's unlocked. Oh. <laughs> Fix that. I learned that from you. Bob, whatever your name is. Alright, to the place that needs the wheel was... Down the stairs, yep. Wait, so it just took me back here. What, what do I do up here? Ooh, some serious kickback. Look at that. Alright, still need it. Still need to get to the hold. That's my main mission. Mm, where does that go? I don't remember. Ooh. Ew, what the hell? Even being shocked causes their heads to explode. 
They really are very fragile. Alright, so I need to wait. Right? It's a time thing? Or... Yeah. It doesn't make any sense why I wouldn't just constantly shock you. Yeah, because the wire's just touching the water, but okay. So let's go have a chat with Anna, who's apparently going to kill me as soon as I let her out. I better have my shotgun ready. It's unlocked. Anna? Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Tom Hansen. I'm a friend. Why should I believe you? Because I'm here and you're not dead. Ha, huh, funny. Where is Dimitri? Yusupov's dead. Good. The pastor deserved it. So can you tell me what the hell is going on here? He said you had some answers. He lied. I don't have answers. Then who does? Papa does. We can radio him. He will know what to do. <laughs> I think you and I are linked, Hansen. We will both make it through this, or neither of us will. I vote for both. I don't think you have a choice. Those animations in that cutscene were so bad. So, so, so bad. It's like they were made of Play-Doh. The way they were moving. A letter to Anna from Kamsky. Did I seriously just take her own letter? Right in front of her, at her feet, and she doesn't even say anything. Apparently she doesn't care. My dearest Anna. I have... No, I'm not going to try to do an accent. No. No, no, no. That won't turn out very well. I have tried many times to write this letter, but always I have failed. I want to tell you how... No, no, must stop. I want to tell you how sorry I am for the way in which my work has affected your life. Since your mother died, I have put you through hell. Endless moving, harsh tutors, remote boarding schools. However, you know how much my work means to me, especially since our arrival on the star of Shakalakalagalin. I realize I've never given you a normal childhood, but trust me, I will give you an extraordinary life. I love you very much. A papa. Hanson, I've got an idea on the girl. She's Victor Kamsky's daughter. It is vital that you keep her alive. Yes, I'm a scientist. So? I'm telling you that she's valuable. Guard her with your life. I'll keep her alive. You'd better... If she dies, it's all over. I I'm sorry, a moment ago, wasn't she... What you saying? She's probably a Russian hooker. And now I need to guard her life. Great! An escort mission. Wonderful. You know what I'm actually really, really amazed about? Is the fact that she doesn't have massive cleavage. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Although, of course, she has the requisite extremely skin-tight clothing. As always, even though it's freezing cold. But... At least there's no cleavage, so that's good, at least. Ow. This room full of boxes exploded! Can I shoot her? Stop it. Yes, you can. Uh. Now I feel bad. Can I heal you? No, don't hit her. Jesus. Oh, now she's gonna like limp. Well, not limping, but clutching your chest. All right, let's get you to the med bay. <laughs> What have I done? Oh, oh god, oh god! You okay? Don't mind the brains on your face, you can wipe it off in just a second. We got some clean wipes in here.
Are you, are you gonna get a, get a medkit? Right, okay, she's gonna be damaged for the rest of the game. Alright, so where am I going? A company and out to the radio room. Okay. Um. Uh, how did I get there? I don't remember. It's at the top of stairs that are... I don't remember. Wait, I think, I think it's this way. I think. No, Captain's Quarters. Yes, thank you, camera. Show me everything but what's in front of me. Thank you. I love you, too. Yes, here we go. Okay. I got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. Whoa. I didn't even press save, but yes, I do want to save. Here's the radio room. Good. We can call the drilling platform my father works on. Star of Sakhalin, can you hear me? Anna, is that you? Havel, what's happening? Where's my father? I'm sorry, he is missing. And this place. Don't come back, Anna. It's too dangerous. Hush, I am coming back and I'm bringing help. Then I will try to hold out until you return. Das Vidanya. We can't turn the ship. The autopilot is locked. Then unlock it. Good idea. I'll go find Lubensky. You stay here. Lock the doors. And here, put this on. What is it? It's a radio. It will let us keep in touch. Just wipe it off first. <laughs> okay, Hanson, here's the plan. You find the codes you need to unlock the autopilot. Point that thing at the oil rig Anna's talking about and get her father out of there. If we turn this thing broadside to the storm, the waves are gonna swamp us. Then turn it fast. Your <laughs> Coast Guard and her dad needs a rescue. Go rescue him. That's his solution. If we turn the ship, we're going to die, and the solution is, turn faster. Oh. My god, the stupidity of these people. The people, my col- Well, it's not just my colleagues that are stupid, I'm stupid too. Mr. Bob, John, the Hanson, Henson, whatever his name is. Is one of the dumbest people alive, but even he is more intelligent. Than the man who ran through flames to his doom. Or the man who wants me to get the ship blow, get the ship just destroyed by the waves. These people are, oh, they're so stupid. And this is supposed to be a rescue operation. I think we're, we're the ones that need rescuing now. I think everybody on board this damn ship needs rescuing. The rescuers need to be rescued now. Good job. Okay, well, <laughs> on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. This game continues to be utterly ridiculous, and I'm still enjoying it. Alright, so I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.